Hi, this is Hardball Retro, and we're going to play Pure Stat Baseball. Uh, this one was published in 1986 uh, by Sublogic, and it was available for the Apple II, uh, IBM, and Commodore 64. We're going to play the Commodore 64 version. Uh, it's running in the Vice emulator. So let's take a look here. We've got the main menu up, and we're going to select option one. Um, so I preloaded this uh, so that the team disk is already in the drive right now. Um, if you keep uh, if you keep the disk on side A, uh, there's only eight teams available. Uh, if you flip it over to side B, you have the 1985 season. So. Go ahead and get started. All right, so I decided we're going to replay the game seven of the American League Championship Series, 1985. So we've got Kansas City as the visitors, and Toronto will be the home team. Okay. And let's look at the lineups here. Okay, enter stadium disk. So I'm going to put disk A or side A back in the drive here. <clears throat> I don't have the stadium disc, so the game comes with three stadiums. I'm going to choose Sublogic Stadium. Okay. And we'll do a one player game. And I will be the home team. So interestingly enough, this game goes right to the uh, goes right to the game. It it kind of bypasses the uh, lineup and pitching selection. It it selects um, I guess the default lineups and starting pitchers for both teams. Uh, but what you can do is you press should be press C at this screen, and then V. For, let's do V for visitors first. And let's see what their lineup is versus what the real lineup was. So in game seven, we have Lonnie Smith leading off, not Willie Wilson. Uh, they flipped the batting order on us. So let's see. We need to do, let's see, we're reviewing the roster. We've got Bear with me a moment. I'm looking at the manual because it's been a while since I've done this. So if we want to change the lineup, cursor up and down, right? Spacebar to move the left column cursor to the player you want to insert into the lineup. So we want to do this. And Smith is the left fielder. So he is position seven. All right, so now we see we have Lonnie Smith in there twice. Obviously, we don't want that. So now we have to cycle through using the space bar, get back to Willie Wilson, press enter. And Wilson is our center fielder. All right, Smith, Wilson. Now we have Brett should be third here. So again, Brett playing third, and McCray is the DH batting fourth. DH. Okay, after that we have Sheridan, then Balboni, so Sheridan and right.
Elboni at first. Uh, Sunbird, White, Beyond Kalana. Sunbird, White, and Beyond Kalana. Close down. All right, so that is correct now. And then I believe we do an F1 to get to the pitcher screen. And our starter should be Saber Taken. All right, so now let's check the home team. Bring up the Blue Jays lineup from that day. So Garcia leading off, not Mosby. Playing second. Mosby in center, batting second. Went too far. There we go. Garcia, Mosby, Mullenix batting third, playing third. There we go. Upshaw at first. Okay. Okay. Uh, Al Oliver, DH. George Bell in left. Wit Barfield Fernandez. Okay, Wit. Catching Barfield in the right. Tony Fernandez, it's short. All right, that looks correct. F1, Dave Steeb, correct. One. All right, now we've got the lineups and the pitchers correct, so we can play ball. All right, so we see on this screen, we've got our scoreboard on top, we've got who's at bat. Uh, base runners, pitcher stats, and our batting options. So obviously nobody on base. We're just going to hit return for normal batting, but these will come into play at some point. We'll take a look at them a little bit later. Uh, I believe this game, like I said, it had uh, add-on discs like a stadium disc. Uh, possibly other season discs. So but let's proceed here. So I'm going to hit return for normal batting. Then you have more base running options. Right now, you know, obviously the steals don't matter, but you could do the run aggressively depending on what outfielder down here. You know, so if you hit a base hit to right and you know the right fielder has a poor throwing arm, maybe you want to run aggressively only on hits to right field, for example. But over here it shows their throwing rating, so we see that actually aggressively the center field might be the only option that you would consider. Um, and that's interesting that it says Willie Wilson, even though he changed it. But we're going to proceed anyway. I'm not going to mess with the lineups further. If they're wrong, they're wrong. Let's see what happens here. All right. Oh, that gets down for a hit. So this displays the animation, and it tells you the result here. Single by Wilson to left. So there you go. So I went through all that changing the lineup, and it looks like it didn't keep it, but whatever. Okay, third base, over to second, no throw to first. Ground ball by Lenny Smith to Mullenix, fielder's choice. And then here's McRae. Struck him out. Yeah, 
that looks like a walk to Brett. Steve Balboni's up. Two runners on. There's a grounder. Error by Damaso Garcia. Now the base is loaded. Oh, strike three. All right, so White strikes out with the bases loaded, and Toronto's up. I do see Garcia's up, so it took my changes for some reason, and it did accept Saberhagen pitching, so I don't know why it didn't take their batting changes, but. All right, so Garcia on with 28 stolen bases. Mosby's up. There's a hit. So I thought I selected to manage the home team. Apparently I did not. So anyway, I'm, uh, I'm on defense here. So return from normal pitching, pitch aggressively, pitch around batter, potential walk, pitch out. Uh, let's try the pitch out, just see what happens here. Round it short, second for one, runs are first. Double play ball. All right, so we got Garcia on third. Upshaw flies out to Orta. Okay, strike out by Sunberg. Onyx Concepcion. Yeah, looks like a base hit to center. But we'll see how this one plays out. One of the uh, reasons this game is famous is because of the way that um, Bobby Cox uh, kind of stuck with a strict platoon for some of his players. And so when the Royals uh, replaced Saberhagen with uh, left-hander Charlie Liebrandt. Uh, Bobby Cox basically brought in all of his uh, right-handers. And then uh, the Royals were able to use uh, Dan Quisenberry uh, to close out the game. And he had just a bunch of, he was facing a bunch of right-handers because uh, uh, as a submarine side armor he had troubles with the uh, uh, lefties so
But we'll see how this game plays out here. It won't necessarily go to the pen that quickly. Oh, there's a long drive. That one's gone. Two run blast. Willie Wilson getting things done for the Royals, and it's two zip visitors. Uh, as with a lot of the games in this uh, time frame, the um, path of the ball is fairly easy to, to pick up after a, after a game or two, you'll basically be able to figure out, okay, like this ball, you know, the ball hit on a particular uh, path is going to be a hit or an out. That one was booted by Tony Fernandez. There's another hit. And for some reason, the runner stopped at second. Come on, Lonnie, you could have made that. You could have made third easily there. So, anyway, they're uh, beating up on Dave Steve a little bit here. They're early going. Two runners on. Oh, the whiff by George Brett. All right, but the Royals get two, and uh, Blue Jays are coming up. Al Oliver, two up. Again, Saberhagen. So that's a fly out, even though it looked like a low, low line drive. Yeah, it was a a bit of a shadow under the ball, so it's it's kind of tough sometimes to tell. And I'm pretty sure that the physics-based um, uh, you know, uh, path of the ball didn't come into play until Earl Weaver baseball, so we're talking 87, I believe. George Bell. Gets good wood on the ball, but I believe that's a fly out. Fly ball caught by Willie Wilson. Aaron Witt, the catcher. There's a low line in center that's going to get in there for a base hit. So two out hit. Brings up Jesse Barfield, had 18 homers that year. That's going to get in there. Back to back singles. Witt is a slow base runner, so he stops at second. Tony Fernandez, the batter. Ground ball short. Throws it over to first. For out number three. Hey, bye bye Balboni. 28 home runs in 85. We're going to. We'll just swing away for now. That one down the line and left. Caught by George Bell. Out number one. Frank White is up, second baseman. 
another drive to left. That one gets in there. Oh, look at that wicked, uh, wicked hop it took there. Single left by White. It's got 10 steals. Sunberg, not much of a threat with the bat. Um, I'm going to swing away. But we're not going to swing. We're going to take the walk. We're really going to take our time getting to first also. All right, so now we got George Orda. There's a hit down the left field line, and it curves to the left fielder. Onyx Concepcion, and a pair of runners aboard. Two down. And he grounds out to short to end the inning. So Jay's top of the order. Garcia. Grounder. Second base. Throws the first for the out. Lloyd Mosby. Strike three. Swing and a miss. Two down for Mullinix. And he coaxes the base on balls. And that brings up Willie Upshaw. Smacks it to left. And caught. Ron Smith skates, takes it in. <clears throat> Willie Wilson's up, home in his last time. Rounding to short, can he beat it out? No. Smith. That one's up the middle. I think it was caught by the center fielder. Yep. And Hal McRae. Caught by the left fielder. All right. Heading to the bottom of the fourth. Two zip. KC. A grounder to short. Oh, guns him out. Nice play. Now I could swear I just saw Oliver batting from the right side, which is incorrect. Strikeout by Bell. If memory serves, I have a feeling there's a few other pitchers and hitters that might be uh, batting or throwing from the incorrect side. Some data entry mistakes here. Again, that, that occurred in a lot of games. Uh, oh, takes him to the wall. He leaps and makes the grab. Brett almost uh, 
put that one out of the park. Let Mosby tracked it down. So with a lot of these, uh, a lot of these sims, you want to you want to go through everybody's lineup, check the numbers, make sure the information is correct before you start a, you know, start simulating an entire season and realize that uh, one of your players is batting from the wrong side the entire time or something like that. So. Oh, I can't find the first baseman. And they credit Balboni with a single. So I guess uh, Upshaw never touched it there. Oh, that one's in the corner, bounces off the wall. Takes a wicked bounce, and they're going to stop at second and third. Double by Frank White. All right, here's the pitch. And shortstop fields it. There's the first. So Sunberg grounds out to Fernandez and the run scores. Fly ball to Orta, or fly ball by Orta, caught by Mosby for the out. All right, so the Royals tack on a run, and it's 3 nothing. Heading to the bottom of the fifth. Saberhagen's still on the mound, throwing a four-hit shutout at the moment. <clears throat> Barfield flies out to Lonnie Smith. Oh, Fernandez up. Ground and short by Fernandez, Concepcion. Okay, there's a single left. So again, some speed on the base paths. All right, two outs. Mosby's up. Fly ball to left. Makes the grab. All right, Concepcion. Strike three. center. Mosby makes the catch for out number two. We got Lonnie Smith coming to the dish. Racks it to left. Caught. Oops. 
Saber Hagen cruising along here is Rance Mullix. Struck him out. Upshaw. There's a base hit in the center. He's going to stick it first. There's the pitch. Grounded to first. Throws to second. Back to first. And they pull off the 363 double play. All right, top of seven. Hal McRae do up. That's caught by the center fielder, I believe. Yeah. George Brett. Singles to right. That's a single to center. And Frank White. Runners on first and second, and strike three. Jim Sunberg. There's a hit that gets down, and are we gonna? <laughs> we're just gonna stay at third, huh? Okay. All right, so. Pretty poor speed on the bases, but bases loaded for Orta. Steve has allowed 10 hits. Computer manager leaving them in so far. Orta hits one to left. And that's an out. All right, Sabre Hagen still pitching the shutout. George Bell. Okay, there's a hit to left. Stolen base attempt. And I would say he's out. Yep, George Bell, runner thrown out a second by Jim Sunberg. Okay. Probably not a wise move down by three, but we're trying to get something going. We kind of get it. There's a base hit. So they could have had first and second. They could have had the tying run at the plate. Instead, they have one out, one runner on. Jesse Barfield. So we could try to warm up a pitcher here. So let's see. Press the F5 key to view the complete pitcher's roster. Okay, have a pitcher warming up. Enter the number of the pitcher you want to use and press return. Who do we want to warm up? Well, I'd say it's not necessarily too early to bring Quisenberry in, but for now, let's warm up Beckwith. Right? So we'll do that. So that was F5 to bring up the list. When you select the number that you want to warm up, 
I'm going to hit return to get back to the screen. So we're going to pitch aggressively to Barfield. Let's see what happens here. And because it's the seventh, we're going to draw the line. You can see the fielders are actually building the line. And he just drilled that thing out of here. Titanic blast by Barfield, and it's three to two. Okay, so I, <laughs> I guess pitch aggressively backfired. That was the wrong option to choose there. All right, so we got Beckwith warming up. So there's a W next to him. He should be warm. But we're going to pitch to Tony Fernandez. Oh, that gets down for a hit. We have tying run the board with only one out. Tony Fernandez on. Decent base runner. Ten hits allowed by both pitchers. All right, we're going to go to the pen. So that's F7. Number six. So Beckwith is in the game. Oh, he's going to make it. Stolen base. All right. Tying run at second. What out? Oh, forgot to guard the lines, but that's okay. Round into second. So now they've got a runner on third with two down. So if you want to guard the lines, you have to do it for every batter. Good to know. Guard lines. Okay. Don't know why the left fielder waited so long to come in on that one. There's a single by Mosby, and we're tied at three. All right. So went a little bit too long with Saberhagen, apparently. Uh, we're going to get Jones up in the pen. So this is interesting. Why does it leave Beckwith as an option? He should probably not be listed there since he's not available. And strike three. So that ends the inning, but we're tied up at three. Now we have Onyx Concepcion. I would like to pinch hit. Let's see. So I think we do the C here. Visitors. There. We're going to bat for Concepcion with bat versus lefty versus righty. So I get out of here in one second. Yeah, Steve is still on the mound, so we're gonna go back to that screen. Visiting team. And we're gonna bring up Sheridan. Okay, enter. And he's the shortstop, but not really. Okay. We're going to F1, F1. Okay, Pat Sheridan's up. Oh, 
center fielder just disappeared out of the park. <laughs> Sack fly by Sheridan, error by Mosby. Well, that's interesting. It wasn't a sack fly. We have a runner on first now, so let's just say that he dropped the ball, but for some reason Sheridan only got to first. That's a little bit suspect. But we'll take we'll take a runner on base. So Willie Wilson's up, runner on first. Steve is still in there. The uh, computer version of Bobby Cox absolutely refuses to remove his ace from the game. Though he's not pitching that way as well. Oh, there's a base on balls. So first and second. Nobody out. And Lonnie Smith, the batter. Okay. Oh, there we go. Dennis Lamp is in. Fly out to right by Smith. Runners do not advance. All right, Hal McCray. Uh, well, why don't we try one of these run aggressively deals? Uh, well, let's try run aggressively if it's at the center. So option six, enter. Of course, it was hit to right. It gets down for a hit, and we're trying. Oh my goodness, he is pegged at home plate. Runner thrown out at home by Jesse Barfield. Well, I could have told you that. I have to talk to the third base coach here. All right, Willie Wilson on third. George Brett, the batter. Regular. There's a hit. Sure looked close at second, but they called him safe. Or they called him out. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like we're pitching right now. I uh, didn't mention anything about it, but anyway, the run scores somehow. Yeah. Okay, again, it's one of those little glitches with these old games that didn't quite account for everything. Uh, let's get Quisenberry up in the pen, I guess. Uh, so, bottom of eight. Upshaw the batter, Beckwith still on. There's a hit to left. And caught by the left fielder. Fly out by Upshaw to Lonnie Smith. One down, Al Oliver the batter. Quisenberry's ready, but we're going to pitch to Oliver here. With Beckwith. Grounded to second. Out of first. And smooth fielding. Frank White throws him out. George Bell is up, and I think we might go to the pen here. Yes, we will. So, F7. Again. There we go. Quisenberry's in. Pitching the bell. Throws that one up the middle. Base hit. Knew it. Guard the line. It's a terrain caught.
So George Orta with the catch. Uh, we got Balboni facing the lamp. And oops, guess what I forgot to do. Yeah, Pat Sheridan's playing shortstop. Uh, forgot about that. So Let's correct that. Oopsie. All right. Balboni's up. So you'd, you'd think that would be a simple enough uh, feature to program in that you're, you know, check your uh, defensive lineup after you pinch hit for somebody, or pinch run for somebody the previous inning. But there were several games that didn't do that, didn't alert you to the fact that your right fielder was playing short, or is that what you really want to do type of thing. So uh, Frank White, the batter, top of nine, one out. Dennis Lamp still on. Oh, crushes that one. It's a solo shot down the left field line. That will extend the lead. Kansas City goes up 5-3. Home run by Frank White. Jim Sundberg, the batter. Rounds it to third, fires to first for the out. George Orta. Socks it to right. That gets down for a hit. Buddy Biancalana. Round of the first. Upshaw takes it himself. All right. Quizzleberry against Barfield. Round of the third. Close to first for the out. One down. Tony Fernandez up. Uh, there's a hit to right. So tying run comes to the plate. Alonso Garcia. Uh, Guard the line. Rounder to short. Could be two. Yes. Double play. That should end the ball game. That's it. Game over. So let's press, I think it's B for box score. No, don't wish to print. All right, there's our box. Uh, so interestingly with the double zero format here and listing the entire team so that was basically the order we batted but yeah see orders orders down here so it's just basically the order of their roster so we had home runs by wilson frank white uh, three hits by white Let's see, probably space bar to get to the next page. Yes. Saber Hagen, six innings, ten hits, three earned. Quizzenberry, 
Uh, we don't have thirds of an inning, so they round up. Quisenberry gets credit for two innings, two hits. Uh, we've got the home run from Barfield here, two RBIs. Several batters with two hits apiece. Steve, seven innings, ten hits, four runs, six Ks, three walks. Then a slam, two innings, four hits, one earned run, home run by White. Here's our line score. And that should be it. That's the ball game. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And back to the main screen. So until next time, folks, this is Hardball Retro. Take care and see you soon.